Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 24th of May. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. This means when I drop a video, you will get an alert. Now, if you'd like to ascend above uh, zodiac sign astrology and embrace your natal situation, you can do so with my special offer package of a 12 month forecast and your character analysis based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you, which will give you searing insights for the months ahead. Please see the link below for more. Hello Cancer and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 24th of May. This week begins with the Sun, Mercury, Venus and the North Node all in your sector of reflection. But of course Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion and good fortune, is in a very adventurous part of your situation. So there's a paradox. But one thing's true, if you do want to explore a more spiritual theme, you want to have time to uh, spend in nature, your senses can be really maximized and you can draw in a lot of awareness and consciousness through the combination of the planets this week. But with Mercury in shadow and then going into retrograde on Sunday, it is true to say that you could be thinking a lot about the sincerity of your closest alliances. And if there has been or there needs to be some kind of separation from someone you have been close to, this could consume your thinking in really quite a big way. You can also feel hugely nostalgic for people from your past. This may be people who have passed over. Um, and if that does happen, you may gain great a great sense of, of peacefulness if you can go to somewhere where you can remember them, uh, somewhere they perhaps really liked, or perhaps you have a memorial uh, to them somewhere, or perhaps a, a living memorial, a tree or a bush or a, uh, a flower that you can really think about those people very carefully. But if you are in a relationship which is not working so well, and there is a lack of trust, and it could even be a business or professional one, you know, that could cause an issue for you, not just this week, but over the next six months. I think it is important to stay in touch with both the psychological and more practical sides of your situation. The more you're embracing both of them, then the more that you'll deal with this lunation and in fact gain from it and thrive from it in the weeks and months to come.